Hey guys, so I'm back today with another video. This one is inspired by the Zodiac and specifically the Capricorn sign. And I just want to apologize for my voice. I'm a little sick, so just bear with me. The first step that I'm going to be doing is putting some tape around my forehead and my chin. Because I want to create some really cool geometrical shapes. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Primer. Rub that all over my face and then follow it up with the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. And I'm using it uh, Beauty Blend just to even it all out the next step that i like to do after i put on all my foundation is highlight and conceal i'm using here the tart cosmetics shape tape concealer and i'm just putting that underneath my eyes where my normally my eye bags would be also the bridge of my nose to create a really sharp nose effect and then when you contour it will give you a new face shape after that, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, foundation stick in mink. I used that for my contour. I'm going to put it on my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then I'm just going to take a different beauty blender than the one we started. And I'm just going to buff that all out to create a really smooth, blendable transition from the foundation to the highlighting to the contour. <laughs> next step up is setting the face and baking right here i'm gonna be using the air spawn translucent powder i'm gonna really concentrate and bake my underneath my eyes and then my cheeks and then i'm just gonna put the powder everywhere and pretty much fluff it off and then start working on my eyes wherever you concentrate the powder that's really where you want it to bake that just means that it's going to be on there for longer pretty much the whole length of the video as you can tell and that's pretty much it as far as it goes for baking i'm using the nyx cosmetics brow promenade for my eyebrows in black i'm just really sharpening and defining them and then i'm going back in with the spoolie end and really making sure that it looks all even and that it looks you know realistic once i have the other one done i'm going to start working on my eyes i'm using the urban decay primer portion in original as the primer I'm gonna even all of that out with my index finger. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Shadow Box eyeshadows for this look. I'm using the green and the orange tone specifically. I'm not trying to go with anything dramatic for the eyes, so just a simple smoky eye is gonna be doing it for this look. And I'm gonna be doing more of like the geometrical patterns on my face, and I really want that to be the focal point. So I took the green, I put it on the outer edge the orange for the inner corner and then one of their silver colors on the inner inner corner and then i'm using the kat von d eyeliner just to create a wing and then i'm just gonna really make sure that that is sharp and not too big not too small just enough i'm gonna be going in with the greedy babe cosmetics um eyelashes i believe these ones are the dominic i can't really remember it's either dominic or joey's one of those two but they're so pretty they're so full and i recommend that you guys check them out i'm using the urban decay Perpression mascara as you can tell i love urban decay and this is really an amazing mascara it's definitely worth the money so go for it buy it splurge yourself okay this is what i was talking about where you put the silver in your eyes then we're gonna go in and set all the contours and really define them more i really want it to be a pronounced contour so i'm taking the sephora contouring palette and i'm going in with the shoe the two shades on the bottom left hand and i'm just gonna do that on my cheeks my forehead my chin and my nose and as far as the highlighting i like to set that with the same contour palette just with the two colors on the top left hand side and it really dust away all the air spawn powder that i left for baking and i just dust it away while setting it and then i go in and i really highlight my nose all right this is the fun part this is when we start creating those shapes that i was talking about i'm going in with the same urban decay shadow box and i'm going in with the purple and blue and just creating two very defined triangle shapes on the top and 
on my chin and i'm just using my thumb for that i really didn't feel the need to do a brush and then the outline the tape where i had it i'm gonna go in with the same colors and just a regular blending brush and softly going out there now when you pull the tape you should have a pretty clean v-line then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and just finishing up cleaning it and making it as straight as possible oh and i totally forgot to highlight so i'm going in with the marc jacobs do drops coconut gel and I'm just applying that on my cheeks and the bridge of my nose since this is a whole zodiac look I feel that it wouldn't be complete without any stars and constellations so that's why I did the whole purple and blue tone so I can create that effect I'm just using a macron cream stick in white creating dots and then connecting them with a cute little angle brush and I'm gonna be doing that for both the top and the bottom triangles hold up we ain't done just yet let's be dramatic as hell so we're gonna go in and i'm just creating the capricorn sign i mean it wouldn't be an homage to that whole capricorn makeup if i didn't have it right so pretty much i'm taking a macaron cream stick an angle brush and just creating the really cool weird and shape and i did the tail on it too long on one side so i'm just taking concealer and fixing that right away um then after that i am going to go in with my lips i'm using some cheap beauty supply store liquid lip um i'm not sure of the name honestly it was literally a dollar so i bought it i mean it's a blue lipstick i can't complain I'm gonna go in also to create kind of like an ombre effect so I'm gonna take the NYX liquid suede in the purple and I'm gonna center that around my lip you know smoothing it out then the Urban Decay shadow box and I'm just gonna go in to really give it a little bit more of a shine I'm using just my thumb and then i'm gonna go in and clean it the colors that i used was the purple and the blue and i think that was pretty much it but then i decided to do more because you know i'm extra i took it in with a macaron cream stain to really highlight the white and the ombre effect to it the shadow box once again with the colors blue and now we're gonna get all pretty i'm taking the glitter from greedy babe cosmetics they have an awesome array of colors to choose from from the glitter jars that were kind enough to send me some to try out a while ago and i still have them because they just work so good i'm taking the purple and creating some tear effect on both eyes and i'm placing that on top of my lips then with the gold one which is actually my favorite i really like the gold one i think out of all of them it really shines bright and it's really concentrated and i'm just gonna go in and fill all of that in to create a more of a futuristic metallic godlike effect because like i said we extra or whatever all right guys so that's pretty much it for this i decided mm, actually wait hold up okay now we're done i hope you guys like this video thank you guys so much for watching and as always like subscribe and follow me on all my social media